When it comes to gaming, I'm a simple man. I see pretty lights, I hear amazing music, I'm given tight controls, and congratulations, I'm officially hyper fixated on your game for the next six months until I drop it for something else. While everyone's taste in games can vary heavily, I'm particularly biased towards the endless arcade gameplay, such as Pac-Man CE or Tempest. Which brings us to this year's Game Jam. Being hosted by Opera GX, their Game Jam gimmick is that the game had to be of the endless genre. The reason? The winner will be featured in their No Internet page. Basically, in the spirit of Google Chrome's Dino Run and Microsoft Edge's Let's Surf game. That brings us to Opirus. Or Opirus. I think it's Opirus. A simple yet aesthetically pleasing tube shooter inspired by the likes of Tempest and Polybius. But rather than copy those games, it takes what makes them so good and makes something entirely new down from its main components. Simple gameplay, pretty visuals, and an amazing soundtrack. And an additional note, the voting for this game ends on Wednesday, September 15th, so if you're lucky enough to see this video before the date, please vote for it. It's the first link in the description, and you don't have to sign in or make an account, just click on the game and vote for it. I really want this to win. If you're in the future watching this, just disregard that. So this game is created by Moores, the same Chad behind such masterpieces like Mario Flashback and Mario 64 Plus, an enhanced version of Mario 64 that plays like a modern game. And the music is by Cantonor. And some playtesting by me. We're greeted with the intro. One thing I have to compliment the game is, is for how the name isn't just internet this and internet that, like some of the other finalists. Rather, that plays a part in the story. Subtle and effective storytelling without being overbearing. Jumping into the game, you'll quickly notice that your ship shoots automatically, and similarly to Tempest, the upgrades you get last once per level. You see, these rings will occasionally show up through the level, and passing through one grants your ship some new shooting abilities. Every level has you starting with a pea shooter. Level 1 grants you a faster shot. Level 2 grants you a double shot. Level 3 grants you a three-way spread shot. And level 4, my favorite, grants you a super fast double shot that obliterates everything. Once you're up to level 4 and hit another ring, you'll be warped onto the next stage with a nice cool palette change. Every area has new enemies and a unique color palette, and the contrast looks really good, making it easy to see things from a distance, even when going at breakneck speeds. If you pay attention to the colors, you might even notice that some of them are based on different sit games and systems. To top it off, there are bosses, a secret power-up for those of you who even beat the boss, and just be careful because your ship is made out of literal styrofoam. One hit and it's game over. So overall, this is an amazing little addictive tube shooter, and I really hope Moore's wins that contest. As I said before, the visuals, gameplay, and music come together to make quite the memorable experience. That the progressing system is fair, the difficulty is brutal yet balanced, and overall, I had a good time. For the sake of not dating this video too much, this is strictly a review of the Game Jam version released in 2021. And who knows, if he wins and the full version is made, I'll do a follow-up video saying what was added or improved. And thanks for watching.